right, let's do a mass video. I'm going to show you all the crap I've been buying lately. Uh, I had two of the last three Sundays off. So I got to go to the flea market. And I found some deep dive stuff I've been looking for on eBay. I can't believe how cheap I got some of this crap. All right, let's start. We got some update figures. I got this figure, long way back, made a video of them. LJN Bendy Rowdy Roddy Piper. I had this when I was a kid. I had most of the Bendy figures. Gave them away to cousins and nephews and all sorts of stuff and kind of wish I had them back. So I don't need all of them. I just want my favorites. I got Rowdy Roddy Piper. I think I want Macho Man. I think I want Hogan. I want the Iron Sheik too. Maybe Jesse the Body. But I ain't going to go too crazy. Had the little one. Found the big one. Boom. Got the big Rowdy Rowdy Piper. All of them you see, they're all beat up, mangled, and stuff like that. So I did a good deal on this one. I bundled. In the flea market, you got a bundle. This one guy, he's always got, he's got the best stuff I've ever seen at a flea market. Usually at flea markets, you get nothing but like uh, old Phantom Menace uh, stuff. NASCAR stuff from the late 90s and people trying to unload for 20 years. No, no, no. This guy had deep dive stuff from the 80s. He had like all the Star Wars figures. Always get, but his prices are always high. Um, so you gotta haggle with the dude. You gotta bundle. You know why I like Rowdy Roddy Piper? I never thought he was a bad guy. I thought he was just self righteous. I knew that even when I was a little kid. When he joined WCW and he was the good guy against Hogan, and Hogan was a bad guy, he was the NWO, guess what? Turns out Piper was right all along. He was just grandstanding and showboating, just like Macho said, too. Boom. So who had to come back and, and fight him? We had to get Piper to come back and fight him. His arch enemy. But Macho Man is the, the, the enemy of Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. I found this other sick figure... I can't believe I, I never seen one out in the wild. I got Inhumanoids, Dr. Derek Bright. He even got his hands. You never see the hands. eBay, these things are going for like a bad amount. Uh, didn't have his helmet. I'm, I'm searching for that. The helmets go for like 25 bucks. So, say I find one with a helmet, no hands, put them together. I'll sell the other one, make my money back. Got a bundle. But look, I got him and I got him. He was saying, ah, oh. I'm like, how much is this stuff? Because he has no price tags. I'm like, you know, 10 or 15 on that, and that, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or 11. I'll give you 20. Boom, got them both. Boom. It was late in the day, too, so you wanted to make some money before you left. That's that's the most I spent, 20 bucks. Oh, my God, look, look what I got. This may be a little bit too much. He's, he's kind of, he's all roughed up. Looks like a dog humped him or something, but this... I mean, his little, that's kind of mangled, but that's the best you're going to find. Uh, the only other ones they got out there are like mint and package and stuff, and I ain't paying for no mint and package. So what else did we find? Remco, you know I love my Remco stuff. I got the shield. This is from the Mighty Crusaders line. Uh, I did a video back, the only video back there is on like eBay or YouTube, whatever the hell this is, of this guy. He was the fly. And this is the character you did one. He was... Uh, there's a line based on Archie Comics uh, superheroes because Remco is all about doing like, you know, knockoff stuff. Um, so they didn't have the license to DC superheroes. They did have Warlord though. And they had Sergeant Rock, but not the good. They didn't have Batman, Superman, stuff like that. Uh, Mattel had Secret Wars, so this came out at the same time. But what, what else what other license can we get? We'll get the Archie comics that nobody reads. Uh, no, we no Jughead, no Archie. Uh, we're gonna do these guys, the Shield. I like these figures. I always seen these online, and I always thought they were much bigger. I thought they were as big as like the the He-Man knockoff stuff from like Warlord and all them other demon things. But no, these are pretty small. These are like only four inches. But this was supposed to, I guess, their way of competing with uh, superpowers and Secret Wars. Nah. You would think this figure is a ripoff of Captain America, but no, the shield came out before Captain America. Archie beat him to it. So, boom. But, oh, this is what I got in the bundle. The guy had a table. Three figures for five bucks. What else did I get? Bendy's uh, 
Wolverine. Boom. I have a Hulk one. I have the Hulk from this series, and I like these things, but this one, you know, for five divided by three, uh, not bad, but he's got like weird mold on him. This is the first time I've ever seen a figure in my collection, because all my stuff, I kept them in tubs and stuff. This, who knows where this was. I had to wash this thing off, clean them. He's got weird mold growing inside him. I looked it up on uh, all over the internet, the deepest, darkest parts, and I couldn't find any way to cure that, so I just had to clean them off. I put my my armor all on them, try to keep the, the re rejuvenate it. That's not going to go away, but it's a good find. So that's two of the three for five bucks. Here's another one I got. I finally got Spawn, the first edition one. I was looking for this. I don't know, I don't think they go for that much, maybe like 20 bucks with the cape and stuff like that, but I don't care if he's not complete. He's just cool looking. I always wanted the first editions, but these came out when I was working at Toys R Us back in the day, and I never bothered to pick one up. I know I had one hidden under a shelf, and I think somebody else I worked with took it, and I was so mad, uh, but I never ended up picking one up. Now I got one. I got this, 90s, 90s, some 80s stuff, great figure, and... You know I'm weird. I bought these on eBay. More Smurfs. Gotta get a Papa Smurf. And look at this. This one's got a cookie. This is adorable. And I'm still working on sculpting one to make one look exactly like production. And I've been kind of lazy on that because I've been sidetracked with a Punisher custom. That's taken way too long. Don't let my weird fascination with Smurfs fool you. I'm a punk rocker at heart. And uh, kind of against authority figures, but come on. That's Papa Smurf. Pop Smurf, but he's the man. And who's this guy? Look, he's all happy. He's got that cookie. Where'd he get that cookie? Did he steal that cookie? Is he a punk? He's adorable. Look at him. I stole that cookie. And here, I didn't buy it. This is something else I picked up on eBay. I don't know how it popped back up into my mind. I start thinking about it, but... This diving Tony the Tiger figure thing. Uh, you're supposed to put him in the tub. He sinks down. He goes back up. This was one of the little prizes that you got from Frosted Flakes. And came out late 80s or so. Probably when I was about 10, 87 or so. And I just thought this thing was cool. I used to throw him in the tub. He comes back up. Went out of the pool. He comes back up. We didn't need the internet back then. We had Tony the Tiger. I was looking all over the house. I could not find it. Looked through all my toy tubs, stuff like that. And I realized about 10 years ago, before I started like collecting again, maybe 12 years ago, I was big into selling everything I had on eBay. It was like addictive. It was like, oh, got to sell some stuff on it. This is one of the casualties. I think, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks for them. And I had to pay $15 to get them back. So... Now that I got it, I feel like a, a piece of my soul is back together again. That's made me feel good. But that is all my weird eBay and uh, flea market finds. Hopefully got some tips. Always bundle. Guys got a good table, bundle. See two things you like, bundle. Uh, and always have your cash out. Cash, cash keeps things moving. You see the cash, then, you know, why not? So there you go. Ooh, I almost forgot about this. Cause you know, I said it before I work at Target. Boom. I did not get the Viper, but I did get Firefly. Me getting the Viper. I work there. I can't even get the damn Viper. But we got a big shipment of There was like a dozen of these came in a case. And I picked one up. And for some, like, I can't bring myself to even open any of these. I'm becoming one of those toy collectors where uh, you keep them in the... Well, set up in the box on your shelf. I like to open the stuff up. I like to smell it, I like to play with the toy. But I think I got a solution for that one. Uh, like I said, I worked there, got this one early in the morning, came in. So a woman I worked with, hey, Mike, get some of them GI Joe's. Like, oh, cool. I got Firefly. Thanks, Deb. Uh, then I went past that aisle again later in the day. Fair game. I was only going to get one, but it was there all day. 
I grabbed two, so maybe I'll open this one eventually. Uh, can I, every collector needs three. You need one to sell, one to keep in the box, one to open. I'll only do two. I'm only going to do two. I got like two of every one of the G.I. Joes I got. I didn't even open any of those yet. I'm afraid to. These are going to be like, are they going to be worth a lot of money? Some of them are. The Cobra Trooper is. I know I ain't opening that. <sighs> it's taking the fun out of collecting. You gotta, that's why like, I buy like these beat up things. These are fun. I get to talk, touch them, play with them, stuff like that. This stuff, yeah, it's cool. It's the coolest figure I've ever seen, but I don't even want to take it out of the box. He's in the box. He must stay mint. There's a, I did a whole bunch of toy videos in a row. I keep getting messages and comments on the rock videos. I kind of got to balance that out. Because I thought I wasn't doing enough toy videos. Because I was doing too many rock videos. Now I didn't do any rock videos. People want to see those. So I got a, I got a weird channel. Metal albums and vintage toys. But for some reason, a lot of people are into that. So it's not that, not that too weird. But all right, I'll come back to you next time. The next video is going to be... Uh, rock video for sure.